Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Wednesday, May 19th. Uh, another green day today, plus 1,128, which marks our 11th green day in a row. So the streak continues. Not necessarily thrilled about the way we got there today, but uh, nice green day nonetheless. So let's go through these. Starting with the mighty 90s, uh, Baba, nice winner for 903. Baidu, plus 435. Piton, plus 280. So three for three in our mighty 90s. No pairs trades today uh, on the runners. Uh, had a late day runner in the NASDAQ plus 1,032. Marvel was an early trade. A uh, couple losers actually in there. That's two different trades, minus 456. Uh, MU got me for a little over 1,000. Shopify plus 504. And Wells Fargo minus 560. So let's take a look at these and I'll show you what we did. Let's start with the Mighty 90 trades. Uh, the first one is Baba. So let's take a look at Alibaba. Get my charts update here. Let's expand this. So in, in Baba, this is a, a great textbook trade, a nice price push right into a key level, nice volume spike, got short right here and caught this flush down. Uh, got out of most of my position after the second red bar here, but two big red bars. And then I just, I held on to one contract and I, I don't like doing this, but I held on basically all day. Just got out of it about 10 minutes ago. So sat through all this chop. I mean, just flat line chop. Uh, finally, the, the uh, Fed minutes came out, got a little downside and ended up cutting out of my last piece right there for plus 903. So uh, probably should have just gotten out of it all after this first little flush. But hey, you know what? Still a nice winner, and I was looking for more downside. I really thought this market was going to roll over earlier in the day. just never happened, and so I wanted to hold a little piece just in case. Uh, I did a similar thing with Baidu. So let's see, where's Baidu? So in Baidu, uh, got short on this push-up, a little volume pop, got short right here. Uh, got out of uh, uh, most of it right here, but held on to one, and... One contract and just sat through all this chop. Ended up cutting out of my last piece here. Uh, still booked a nice profit of 435 on that one. And then Piton plus 280. Held on to a piece of Piton as well. Again, I was just I was looking for some more downside. Uh, Piton had this nice push up. I let it extend even past the the spike in volume. So I got I think I got short right in somewhere right in here somewhere in this bar if I remember right. Anyway, caught this little move down, got out of most of it, held on to one, got another push down, uh, didn't get out of it, just held, held, held. Uh, it rolled over. I should have been out by this point for sure, but didn't. Held on to that last one, really thought we were going to see some more downside. And then this thing popped up. And so when it rolled over here, got out of my last piece, uh, plus 280 in Piton. And then on to the runners. So let's start with, uh, I'll end with the NASDAQ. Uh, Marvel, so in Marvel, 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 uh, may have taken that off the board. Let's see, M-R-V-L. Okay, so Marvel, uh, I 100% blame Lyuba in our trading room for this one. She suggested this one. I went along for the ride and we lost. So uh, basically what happened here is got a nice volume spike on the second bar, waited for a pullback to get long. Uh, started to push up, and when it came down and broke through that, that's kind of our uh, exit criteria. So we got out of that one, uh, turned around, and thought it might be a, a reversal. Uh, so looks for some continuation down after it broke through that bar. Didn't happen. Ripped back up, and so I cut out of that one real close, real quick. So stayed small, two small losers, but ended up you know adding up to minus four fifty six on Marvel. And you can see the. The original trade was the one to hold because this thing just ripped all day. Even, even with the markets being somewhat weak, this thing just rallied like crazy. You can see it's up almost four and a half percent as of right now, and we're getting we're about thirty five minutes from the close of the market at the time of this recording. Uh, so anyway, I took a loss there in Marvel uh, MU. This was my biggest loser in MU. So uh, I was getting. Uh, so we had this. Uh, Big push, big volume spike. Uh, I was looking at this for a reversal. So once it broke below this bar, I was looking for a potential continuation lower. Broke below that, but never continued lower. This thing just kind of chopped around, bounced up. I added a little bit more, came down. I thought we were going to get out of at least half if it would have pushed down just a little bit more. Didn't happen. This thing just rallied up. And when it broke above the highs of the day, 
I just cut out. Um, and so I had a little bit more size because I added on that one. So I ended up taking a loss of a little over a thousand bucks on MU. Shopify, Shopify plus 504. So shop, uh, shop's a little, a little sketchy to trade. The, the options are a little bit wide. Uh, but we had this uh, had this nice push with a nice spike in volume. So on this little pullback, got long, added right here, took a little heat, and then finally it bounced, got out of uh, got out of half like right here. And then uh, when it started to push up here, got out of the rest. Uh, the market looked like it was starting to get potentially weak, so I didn't want to carry longs. Obviously, we would have had a little bit more meat on that bone had I held, but uh, but got out, still booked a profit of five hundred four. And then Wells Fargo, this is one that I was looking to, um, uh, you know, banks were weak all day. Banks were weaker than most. And so uh, where some of these other stocks were creating higher highs and higher lows, Wells Fargo and, and the banks were not. And so when it came up to, um, when it came up to the pivot right, I think it was in this area here, I got short, started to roll over, but then this thing just pushed up and pushed up again. And finally I was like, yep, I'm, I'm out. So it just kind of didn't look like it was going to participate in the downside. And so I went ahead and just cut out. So I took a loss on there uh, on Wells Fargo 560. And then lastly, let's uh, look at the NASDAQ. So, so the NASDAQ obviously opened way down today. I mean, big sell off overnight. And then just really out of the gate, ever since the market opened, this thing just kept pushing up, pushing up, pulling back, pushing up pulling back, pushing up. And so, uh, you know, right in this area, I started thinking, okay, we've, we've had a nice grind higher, uh, but with the weakness, you know, just across the board, I really thought we would see a rollover at some point in the day. And that didn't really happen until uh, the, the Fed meetings came out. But what I did is <clears throat> I'm looking at yesterday's, uh, yesterday's low was this yellow line here. And so when it got up to this point, almost to that point right here, I got short. Uh, just to kind of take a downside runner in a weak market, even though the price action was strong, the market overall was still pretty weak. Started to roll over. I got out of half uh, of my contracts there. I started with eight, got out of four. It bounced back up uh, right here. When it bounced back up to the, yesterday's close, uh, I, I added eight more, sold off, and then kind of scaled out. And when it started to creep back up, got out of the rest. So nice, uh, nice winner in the NASDAQ for plus a thousand. If I look at this on a daily chart, you know, this is, uh, let's look at the Q's, Q, Q, Q. So this will give you a little bit better big picture. I mean, the market opened way down here and then just all day crept, 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 crept all the way to the bottom of, of yesterday. So I was looking at yesterday's low, yesterday's close as a, as a potential place of, <clears throat> excuse me, of weakness. It did touch that, and that's when it pulled back a little bit, and, and I booked most of my profits on that. So not necessarily the way I like to do it. Uh, I was up about a 1000 bucks um, early in the day, and then I ended up giving some of it back and then getting it all back. So plus, uh, end of the day, plus 1,128. I'll take it for the 11th, uh, 11th green day in a row. Uh, but kind of a roundabout way to get there. And I don't like trading this long. I got out of my last trades at like 2.15 Central, uh, which is, is way later than I like to be. Uh, I like to more, I like to trade for the first 90 minutes of the day and then be done. That's my favorite way to do it. But sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. So ended up trading a lot later than I wanted, but ended up with a green day. Um, we'll be streaming live tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. So look forward to seeing you then. We'll be, we're offline, no streaming all of next week. So look forward to seeing you tomorrow in the live stream room. Talk to you then.